has it been? Since this world and I were swallowed by this dark vortex of delusion. Except, it didn't swallow me. It was my doing. I threw myself. Zero Dimension Neptunia Z! Game industry. A world which exists outside of our reality. Where four CPUs protect and rule above each nation. The nation where CPU Purple Heart rules, Planetoon. The nation where CPU Blackheart rules, Last Station. The nation where CPU Whiteheart rules, Loewe. The nation where CPU Greenheart rules, Leanbox. In the past, game industry had been exposed to threats such as the Deity of Sin and the CPU of the ancient nation of Tari. But thanks to the efforts of the four CPUs, a lasting era of peace has been maintained. However, as they enter the CPU shift period, their enduring reign is approaching its end. from around here. Hmm? Wait. What's this on the ground? It almost looks like... a game console? But who even makes this? It's got a white body, a swirl mark. Even a sophisticated game sommelier like myself has never seen anything like this. Well, I don't see anyone around here, so I guess I'll just take a... I mean, deposit this at the Basilicon for safekeeping. Yeah. Hey, Nep here! Look and look! I found a super cool vintage game console. Oh, really? Maybe we can try playing it later. Also, welcome home, Neptune. I'm glad you made it back safe and sound. This kid is Nepgear. She may seem older, but don't be fooled. She's my little sister. The CPU candidate of the nation, Planetune. Neptune, where in game industry have you been? This is not the time to be goofing off. I will not forgive you today. Gah! It's Isti! This small fairy-looking girl is Istoir. Or Isti, as I like to call her. Planetune's first CPU created her in order to keep a record of the nation's history and, right now, she acts as Planetune's oracle. She's cute till she opens her mouth and turns into a little dictator. It's a character flaw that I'm gonna talk to the writers about soon because... <laughs> Neptune, listen to me. We're in the midst of the game industry's shift period, and this is simply not the time for brash behavior. Ah, uh, come on, Isti, lighten up! It's just a little old shift, period. Wait, what is that again? Even though I have explained it so thoroughly, I will explain it once again. So please, listen. The CPU shift period is the season when citizens begin searching for new CPUs to follow, instead of placing their faith in those already presiding. We're currently in the window of time 
When rumors about the CPUs will begin circulating, tarnishing their reputations. In fact, at this very moment, the other CPUs have been working relentlessly to prepare specialized teams to counter any allegations. I'm totally fine. This is Platitude we're talking about, Isti. My people love me. Besides, isn't Noir the only one who's made an actual team? Vert has that MMO tourney, and Blonde has Rookie Novelist Awards coming up soon. Dear me, why is it that all the CPUs lack a mature and appropriate sense of danger? Hey! Don't just lump me in with those lazy idiots, Istuar! Oh, by the way, this girl is Noir, the CPU of Last Station, the nation next door. She's a friendless, lonely soul. Aren't you, Noir? You shut up! I'm not lonely! That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Anyway, Neptunior, think you can fix this console? It looks like it's pretty broken. I'm not sure if I can. It doesn't look like technology I'm familiar with. May I inspect it for a moment, Big Sis? <sighs> It cannot be helped. It appears I will be constructing a solution on my own for Planetune's safety yet again. Anyone, please. Save us! Huh? N Neptune, did you hear that? Oh, I knew I heard something earlier. Good work, Neptunior. Where's it coming from? This is gonna sound weird, but I think the voice came from inside this console. Oh! Idiots! What in the what is this? Why are we getting swallowed up in our own room? Oh no! What should we do? I can't move! Neptune! We're getting sucked in! slacking off to fix that console? Huh? Oh, right, right, right. This is just a dream. Okay, well then. Night, Nepgear. Turn the lights off on your way out, okay? Oh, it's not a dream, Neptune. Get up! No. No, 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 this can't be possible. I mean, we were just in our room, right? Why would we suddenly be in a place like this? I don't know. When I came to, we were just... here. What happened? Well, I don't really know where this is, but I don't think it can be helped. The city's collapsed, there are weird cracks in the sky, but, you know, this is totally a normal occurrence in games. Um, Neptune... Even if it happens often in games, this should not be happening here, in reality. Yeah, yeah, but let's not sweat the small stuff, all right? Hey, there might be some NPCs out and about. Let's go for a walk. I'm sure that'll be ten times better than moping around in a place like this. Yeah, you're right. It's better than just waiting around for an event to appear. That's the spirit! Let's go! around hmm that's pretty weird you'd think there would at least be a cat a hologram or something hey anyone here there's something really eerie about this place neptune those cracks running through the streets and buildings don't seem like regular cracks 
You're right. They're all green and pretty. I feel like if I stared at them long enough, they'd suck me right in. There are similar cracks in the sky, too. It's almost as if the fabric of space and time itself has cracks in it. And these buildings, they feel familiar. Kind of like some of the ones we have back in Planetune. N no it couldn't be. Hmm, would Planetune look like this if we were to enter an apocalypse? D don't say things like that! That's bad! When I look more closely, I don't recognize any of these areas. So I don't think it's Planetune. Doi! Come on, little nap. That city's my backyard! I'd recognize it if I was walking around it blindfolded! Well, it does us no good to keep brooding here. Forward march! Where does her confidence come from at times like this, I wonder? My confidence, you ask? It's obviously because I'm the main character. No matter what happens, we'll make it through with my protag rule set. I hope so. Ahem, <laughs> <laughs> that was just k kinda loud is all. <laughs> it's just a run-of-the-mill first battle baddie. See, Nep Jr., my protag rule set has found local person number one. No, Neptune! No matter how you look, I don't think we can converse with it! It's full of murderous intent! Uh, I guess so, huh? <laughs> and here I thought we'd finally run into someone else besides us. But if the enemy is raring to go, we've no choice! Nepgear, let's transform and stop it! Right! Behold my power! Processor unit, set! Um... Huh? But... nothing happened? <laughs> ah! Hey! That's dangerous! Oh, I see. You don't know it's against the rules to attack during a transformation sequence. I don't think a monster will understand, even if you tell them that. I don't know why we can't go HDD, but we have to take care of the enemy in front of us first. Let's go for it! Okay! Tutorial battle! Everyone, use this fight to learn the basics, all right? Okay, it's a promise. I've never seen this monster before. It looks strong. I'll have to focus. Never fear, Nepgear. This is a tutorial battle, so no matter how crazy they look, we'll win. Okay. My prized scales are a mess. What should I do? Junior. Neptune, it's our shares! I thought something was weird. I can't feel our shares at all. Yeah, right. I trounced a certain noir in a character ranking contest. That popularity is like the source of our shares. So, to be missing... <laughs> That's... ridiculous. CPUs, it's impossible for them to be at zero. And for us to be unable to transform in a post-apocalyptic horror world like this, we're going to be sterilized. But please, calm down, Neptune. Also, that monster we just fought, have you ever seen anything like it before? That super gross mutant bug thing? Nope. 
And I kind of wish I never had. What about you? It was my first time, too. Unfamiliar monsters in an unfamiliar land. Where the goodness are we? Can we actually get out of here alive? I've tried contacting Eastwar, but the end gear keeps dropping out of range, so I can't connect to the phone or the internet. It, it'll be just fine. You worry too much. Just leave everything to your big sis. And let's be real here. Roaming around strange new lands, beating up monsters is way better than working at a boring desk. Neptune, I think you only feel that way because you hate working. Just, the only thing I hate is not having fun. Come on, let's make the most of this, little sis. Neptune, I don't know if I can have fun, but I'm sure we'll be fine if we're together. There we go. You look way cuter when you smile. Let's keep moving. Okay. to the top. Maybe we can figure out where we are. Okay. Wait for me, Neptune! This can't be... What? What? What, what is this? No way. Just where is this? Aha! Uh -huh. Look over there! I see somebody! Hmm? Oh wow, you're right! I think it's a girl! Oh no! She's surrounded by a bunch of scary monsters! There's no way a local could fight against that many! Let's go, Nepgear! Yeah, let's go help her!
inside. My prized scales are a mess. Warning! I'll leave it to you. I'll be serious! Big open it! Max runs a funny bay! My turn! Superior damage. What should I do? Hey, I got one! My funny face has evolved! I feel strength overflowing. Like the kangaroo! Hey! I wasn't ready! Did you it is my turn. Yeah, I've got you. Exterior damage. It's my turn! This'll do it! Ah, next! Someone. Hey, lady, could you tell us where we... Oh, reinforcements now of all times? Come again? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Chill out, lady, I'm just trying to... <laughs> You're not half bad. The name's Uzume Tenoboshi. What's yours? N Neptune! It's Neptune! Neptune? Your name's frickin' hard to pronounce. I get that a lot. Hmm, you're a lot stronger than you look. You're like the perfect prelude to it. Dang it! Just listen to me! We're already super tired from getting sucked into that crazy vortex and I'm just trying to get back! Sorry, but I'm not the type to get all cozy with the enemy. If you think you can fool me by pretending to be human, you've got another thing coming. We're not enemies! Just listen to me! Seriously? Like, I know I'm number one on Game Industry's Hot 100 chart for nicest people ever, but I'm about to get super pissed off! Game it? Ugh! What the hell are you even talking about? Eat this! Chest Buster! Stop! Huh? Please stop, you two! Um, your name was Uzume, yes? Like my sister said, we have no intentions of fighting with you. In fact, I'd be really happy if you could help us. So, um, can you just listen to us for a minute? We aren't going to attack you, I promise. Yeah, what's your problem? Just help us, jeez. Neptune, this is your fault too. Why are you picking fights with strangers? <laughs> My bad. I was getting a little too hyped. Uh... Ugh, there are still a few stragglers. All right, whoever you girls are, this is gonna have to wait until I clean this up. Yeah, let's mop this spit up. I wanted us to stop fighting. It's too late for that. Here we go.
ugly sacks of flesh. My name is Uzume Tanoboshi, and you're all already dead. Leave this to me! You're in the way! You're ten years too early! Warning! It'll do it, dear, please! I'll be serious! I got one! I can do it if I try! Dungeon cleared, or whatever. I'm finished over here, too. Is it really over? I guess I'll thank you two for now, but just be honest with me. You're not its underlings, are you? Mm. Uzume, I'm not sure what it is, but like I said before, we aren't here to fight. We're just looking for help. There are really humans that survived? I can't believe it. How many times do I have to nepping tell you? We aren't the bad guys. No, I know. I didn't mean it like that. It's just, I can't remember the last time I've seen people, let alone fight alongside them. It was wrong of me to attack you the way I did. Please, forgive me. It's okay. I'm just so glad you believe us. Oh, it's all good, Uzume. I know how it goes. I'm just relieved to know there are other people roaming around these parts. Well, I'm actually the only other person here. That aside, if you're not its underlings, who the hell are you girls? You seem pretty strong, but... Hmm... We're... How do you say... Lost. We suddenly found ourselves in this city. We were looking around to see if there was anyone else. And we finally found you. Lost? You mean there are others who failed to escape and are surviving in other cities? Failed to escape? From what? Surviving? <laughs> hey! I thought we cleared the dungeon. What the heck is it now? Finally, it's arrived. What is that huge thing? Is the last boss already appearing? We didn't get blown to the end of the game or something, did we? I don't know who or what that thing is either. But it's the one responsible for turning this city and the entire world into a wasteland. Is this the one behind all these weird cracks and rifts we've been seeing everywhere? Right. And it doesn't just destroy cities. It destroys the earth and sky as well. You're going to try and fight that? That's exactly right. I've been fighting with it for a long time. Something that giant is just too much. Please, Neptune, tell her to back down. Alrighty, now I'm getting all fired up, too. Huh? Our opponent's bigger than a skyscraper? That's perfect! In fact, bring it on! Neptune! Neptunior, I'm the protag! There's no way I'll lose! I appreciate the gesture, Neptune, but this fight is mine, and mine alone. It's useless to try and stop me. I staunchly refuse to listen to people all the time. I do what I want, and I want to help. Please be reasonable, you two. If you think about it sensibly, there's no way you could win against something that gigantic. Sorry to interject, but as a CPU, it's my sworn duty to deliver justice upon the one responsible for ruining this city. Huh? Hang on a sec. Did you just say you're a CPU? Oh, yeah. I guess I hadn't mentioned that yet. Well, that doesn't really matter right now. This place is about to become a battlefield. If you're not prepared to get your hands dirty, then run. Far away. Uzume, let's get out of here together. I'm sure we can devise a strategy to defeat it that doesn't involve battling it head-on, so... No can do. A pack of monsters like the ones we just fought are advancing along with that giant. I gotta stop him here, no matter what. I need to create a window for the others to escape. That giant thing looks terrible enough, but a pack of monsters too? Also, what others? Well then, with courage like that, I'm even more pumped to help you out, Uzume. Let's get ready to rumble! 
you girls aren't ready for a fight like this, and you're just gonna hold me back. Like I said, just hurry up and get out of here already. I don't wanna... Run away! No, no, no. If I ran away now, who's gonna be here to help you? I'm not leaving you here to die. We're doing this together. Mm hmm? Besides, even if we really can't hold our own, we can at least buy you some more time. Neptune... Uh, okay, you're right. Neptune, if you're going to fight, then I will too. Ugh, what freaking ever! You two are so dense. Fine then. Listen, if we're gonna be fighting this thing together, then know this. We fight to win. Yep, yeah! Then, at the very least, why don't we find a place where we can heal your wounds? From the looks of things, that giant won't head here immediately. We have some time. It's better to challenge it when we're at our best. You're not wrong. My base is close by, so let's head there.
Basically, a horde of monsters will approach the city before the giant does. We gotta get rid of the horde first. Gotcha. So all we gotta do is defeat any monsters that come here, right? Sounds simple enough. Right on. I'm counting on you, Nepsy. Nepsy? Nep to... <sighs> Nep whatever's too hard to pronounce. You're Nepsy now. And there it is. The usual and expected pattern of people I've just met being unable to pronounce my name. But it's a totally fresh and adorable nickname, so I'm pumped. By the way, you'll be Gearsy. Gearsy? Well, you can't both be called Nepsy, right? You'll be Gearsy. Gearsy. Gearsy, huh? <laughs> this might be the first time I've been given such a cute nickname. Welcome to the club, Nepgear. Well then, looks like the first wave is approaching. Come on, you two. Let's get fired up. Nepgear! Leave this to me. Yeah! My turn. Yeah! yeah! You want a bunny bay? What? Yeah! What should I do? Okay. Yeah! Owie! What should I do? What? Ha! I did it! <laughs> We've taken care of all the monsters in the area. No, we've only endured the first wave. Here comes the second. It's a lot larger than the ones we just fought. <laughs> you bastard! Of course you would be here. What? Uzume, are you acquainted with this monster? <laughs> oh, we're much more than acquaintances by now. We've faced each other so many times, we're practically a pair of rotten best friends. Whenever I have an opportunity to challenge the giant, this asshole just loves to get in the way. I can't count how many times he stopped me. Hey, you mutt! This ends today. Right here, right now! That's a share crystal? Today, this is going to end differently, because I brought some friends with me who'd love to see you meet your end, along with that stupid giant! Share crystal! Transform! Transformation complete! <laughs> Who are you? you? Freaking cool, right? Oh, so rude of you girls asking who I am. It's me, Uzume. Uzume. Let's do our best together, you two. Leave this to me. This'll do it. One strike. Ugh, so tired. Oh, it's 
Uzume. I thought you'd get even more aggressive in HTV form, but you're completely the opposite. I can't get over it. It's so crazy. Huh? Nepsy, why do you know about CPUs? Oh, duh, that's right. There was so much going on, I forgot to tell you we're both CPUs too. What? Like for real? Don't play with me, Nepsy. Cross my heart. I am Purple Heart, the patron CPU of Planetune, able to leap giant dugoos in a single bound. I can even calm crying children. Except, I kind of have no shares here, so it's not like I could transform and just show you. So, you're a CPU too, Kirsi? Yes, I am. Although, technically, I'm a CPU candidate. Wow, this is crazy! Never in a million years would I have imagined I'd run into CPUs in a desolate place like this! So cool! Oh, believe me, we're just as surprised. But I'm sure this is fate. You're totally right! Ugh, ran out of time! Ran out of time? Oh, right! It looks like you were using a share crystal to transform. What the goodness? It's still alive? Damn it! You're a resilient bastard, aren't you? Do you want another beating, you idiot? Shoot! Any more of this is gonna be tough, even for me. But if it still wants a fight, then we'll keep going till the very end. It ran away? because of my intimidating strength. Yeah, ha! <laughs> Keep on walking, tough guy! Neptune, I think it's just leaving because of its heavy lacerations. It's just hurt. I'm not satisfied that I couldn't finish it off, but now I can finally take on that giant! W wait just a second, Uzume. How can you be thinking of fighting that giant thing with those injuries? What's the matter, Nepsy? What happened to... We'll keep going till the very end. You know that's not what I mean. All I'm saying is you might not make it if you try fighting with those wounds. Incoming! Ah! A surprise attack? How cowardly! Let's return the favor twofold, girls! It's our turn to debut! Ouch! Are you okay, Uzume? Did you get hurt from that explosion just now? You kidding? It takes more than that to take me down. Let's focus on how we can kill this thing. Oh crap! Did everyone get out okay? It's me. What's your status? Have they all been evacuated? Uzume, we've just finished. We're in the next town over. Oh good. We just made it. Yes. They're safe now. Thanks to you, Uzume. Then I can fight without reservations. Thanks for the update. Seems like everyone was able to escape safely. It's all because of you two. Thank you. Of course. But don't you think it's time we escape as well? Escape? I've been waiting so long for another chance at this giant. You just want to waste it? Ah! 
Watch out! Huh? Ooh, just dodged it by the skin of our hairs. Neptune! Uzume! Are you both alright? We're fine. I mean, it was too close for comfort, but it looks like we're okay. Yeah, thanks to you, Nepsi. Dang it, Uzume. You really think it's a good idea to fight this thing when you're all beat up? Of course I do. It's too risky. Let's get out of here while we still can. Shut the hell up. <laughs> I haven't had a shot like this in so damn long, and I don't expect you to get it, but I'm gonna fight. If you want to leave, then just go. What are you saying? There's no way you can hold your own with that thing when you're so beat up. No. I can do this. I'm gonna fight even if the flesh is falling off my bones. Besides, I won't lose in a fight even if I die. Even if I have to go down with it, I'll... Yeah! <laughs> Ouch! What the hell are you doing? You can't do it alone, Uzume. Drop the tough girl act and live to fight another day. You know, they say where there's life, there's rope. R rope I... I think she meant to say hope. Yeah, that's the word. Hope. All the good little monsters were able to escape. Isn't that good enough for now? You don't need to push yourself, pal. Anyway, that's how it's gonna be. Nepgear, give me a hand here. Okay! Whoa! Hey! Let me go, you jerks! You can't just pick me up like this! Put me down! Got a good grip on her, Nep Jr.? Let's blow this pineapple stand. Hey! Listen to me, damn it! I think this is probably far enough. Doesn't look like we were followed, either. You idiots! Getting in the way like that? How could you? You two know a CPU's sworn duty is to protect her people, and how could... Hey, Uzume, you're alive. A CPU also kind of needs to be alive to keep doing her job, you know? <sighs> yeah, I know. I guess I should be thankful, so... Thank you. <laughs> no need. I'm just glad you're here. Is there any place we could rest? We've all taken quite a beating, and we need to find a place to tend to Uzume's injuries. Yeah, let's head back to my base. Even now, it's out of the way of danger, and I have a lot of supplies we could use.
This is what they call a game menu screen. Yeah. 